Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and happy Labor Day. I hope everybody has a fantastic day today. Go get some hot dogs, some hamburgers, cook out, have a good time. Anyway, today when you're done with all your festivities, we have a dress watch for you. This is the Citizen Paradigm and it's been out for a while, I think since like 2018. Uh, it's a perennial favorite over there at Citizen. Uh, they've sold a ton of these watches. I've really, it's really never been on my radar. Uh, just because it's more of a dress watch, uh, obviously, than a diver, and I really only review divers. Uh, anyway, this is model number BM7431-51L. Let's check it out. guys we'll get into this thing but first check out my amazon shopping channel if you like this or any of the other watches that are reviewed on my channel as y'all know i get a very small commission from my amazon store uh, if you decide to buy something there uh, if you do i really do appreciate it when you do it so with that being said let's check this thing out all right so this is your typical citizen watch box got your outer sleeve here here is your watch and as usual i'll tell you all the seven specs you need to know and then we will talk more in depth about this thing. Honestly, not, you know, too much to go over because it's not a very complicated watch. Here is your, um, this is like your little pamphlet. They don't ship manuals or anything like that anymore. Uh, Citizen doesn't, I think Sago doesn't either. But, um, you know, your manual, your warranty, your registration, all that good stuff is on this little pamphlet. You basically go to their website and do all of that stuff online. I think Seiko still uh, ships a lot of, well, at least, the, well, yeah, they do. They, they ship some manuals. Anyway, most watch companies are kind of getting away from doing that. Uh, and Citizen, I think, has been doing it the longest where they have not shipped manuals and registration stuff with the watch. You basically just go on their website and do it there. All right, so there is all that. Here is the watch. Good looking dress watch, man. Really simple. Let me show you the tag. Super, super simple. There you go. There is the uh, model number. And here is the watch. Again, guys, it's a really simple dress watch. Honestly, this is gonna be a pretty quick review because there's not too much to go over. It is a super titanium watch. Obviously, it's a three hand, hour, minute, and second hand. You got your date over there at three o'clock. Um, so again, really not too much to go over. But anyway, let me tell you all the specs you need to know, and then we'll talk more about it. Uh, looking at a 43 millimeter super titanium case, it's 9.9 .9 millimeters thick, so really thin. Uh, it's 50.2 millimeters lug to lug. It comes on a 26 millimeter super titanium bracelet. Uh, this is basically meaning up here. Uh, it probably tapers down to a lot less down here. I'm guessing probably 20 or 22 down here, but you're really gonna, this is really a proprietary bracelet. You're not gonna be able to you know, pop this on a NATO or something like that, and you wouldn't want to. Uh, water resistance is only 100 meters, which is 330 feet. You get the Miyota E111 movement inside with about a six month power reserve, and you do get a sapphire crystal. So again, uh, they're all the basic specs. Anything else you wanna know, check down there in the description field. You know, like it only weighs 99 grams. It's got a sapphire crystal. You got citizen proprietary loom, all that other good stuff. So let's just take a look at the watch. So you got a flat sapphire crystal. It didn't say that it had AR coating on citizen's website. You have mostly brushed areas. You got some really highly polished little inner links here on the bracelet but it looks like the rest of the watch, at least the sides of the case, are uh, brushed. This one area right here on the bezel is polished. It doesn't really have a bezel, but anyway, that is, that is highly polished. Uh, you do have a chrome bezel around each index and hands, uh, which is pretty cool. You got a little white border around the date window. Honestly, these date windows are really small, guys. So they're kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can pick that up or not, but that blue dial has like a honeycomb pattern. And of course you got that radial brushing right there. Adds a little bit of a panache to the watch, if you would uh, want to say that. <laughs> and that's my new word for the day, panache. Uh, anyway, so uh, the indexes are, looks like they're mostly rectangles. Uh, and again, you got these sword style hands a really thin second hand. Of course, it lines up exactly with all the indexes, as you can see, just like 99% of all Citizen watches do. Uh, minimal writing on the dial, you got EcoDrive, you got Titanium. Uh, you do have a chapter ring with the minute marks on the outer edge there. Here is your crown. Of course, it's not a screw down crown. You do have some crown guards. 
The crown is not signed, but it is highly polished on the end there. You got plenty of grip. It is just a push-pull crown. So you can see right there, I went ahead and stopped it. Of course, it is hackable. Push it back in. There you go. Um, a little bit more polish right there on those little shoulders right there. Here I was on the side. Again, mostly brushed. Man, this watch is really light. I mean, it's super titanium. What, kind of, what did you expect? There you go. Let's go ahead and open it up. You do get a stamped scissor clasp. It's titanium, but you know, I don't know. It would have been nice if they had made this a, uh, a machine scissor clasp, but it is titanium. Uh, one big zonk on this thing is you only have two micro adjusts right there. That's a big, a big uh, ding for me. There's only, you know, two micro adjusts. Eh. So you're going to have to pop out a link or add a link if you need to do that. That's going to kind of suck. But, um, that dial, I mean, I'm really liking that dial. I love that honeycomb pattern. Pretty cool. All right, back of the case. Look at that. The big EcoDrive logo makes a reappearance. I don't know why on some citizens they get the big EcoDrive, the laser etched EcoDrive logo. Some citizens you don't. I don't know what warrants a watch getting that logo. I'm not quite sure. Maybe that because this is an older model. Uh, they've just always put it on the back, uh, the case back there. I'm not quite sure. It is a screw down case back. Uh, of course, you get all the other information around the uh, the dial that's you know it's got a sapphire crystal, the movement, all that good stuff. Uh, but I love. I just know why. I just love seeing these Eco Drive uh, logos on the case backs of citizens. And I wish they would do it on more watches. I don't know why they don't do it on all watches. Anyway, that's just me. But I'm trying to think of anything else I want to tell you about the actual watch. Guys, this would be like a good, this reminds me of like a middle management watch. Like you haven't really made it to be a big manager yet, but you're not a peon. Uh, you sit at a desk, but you have to go out on the floor once in a while to do stuff. This is like a good middle management watch. It's light. It's accurate. You never have to worry about a battery. It looks good. Uh, it's a quality watch made by Citizen. It also kind of reminds me a little bit of the movie Dune for some reason. I don't know why. It just kind of reminds me of the movie Dune or maybe the movie Prometheus. There's a Seiko Solar watch that also reminds me of the movie Prometheus. Kind of reminds me of this one. I'll go ahead and find it and I'll put it up on the left-hand side of the screen for you. These watches kind of look similar. I guess maybe it's just because of the bracelet. Kind of has that alien type of Dune look to it, which I really dig. I like that look. So uh, anyway, there's that one. And, uh, I mean, it's just a good-looking watch. It's incredibly light. Again, only 99 grams. Uh, super light watch. You get a sapphire crystal. Everything is super titanium. Uh, and if you want to get it on Amazon right now, it's about $56 cheaper than Citizen. Citizen right now has it for $356. And Amazon has it right now for only $299. Now, I'm, I'm not sure how long that's going to last. If it's a Labor Day thing with uh, Amazon, who knows? I know Citizen's price is not going to last because that is a Labor Day sale. Uh, but get it at Amazon. If you want the same, man, get it over at Amazon for $299. And luckily for you, there's a link down there in the description so you can head on over to my channel and pick one up if you like it. So uh, again, guys, I like this. It really has, you know, these really are not on my radar only because I, you know, mostly review probably like 99% dive watches. And I just saw these things. You know what? I just like, I just like the overall look of it, honestly. I think it's a good looking watch. Really nice articulation with the bracelet. Again, stamp, scissor clasp, eh, you know, not a huge deal, but it would have been nice if they had uh, if they had made that machined. And, of course, the only the two uh, micro-adjust, again, those are my only two zonks for this watch. Uh, but it feels really well built. And, again, I just love, I just love the look of this thing, man. It's a good-looking watch. So, anyway, guys, let me go ahead and try this thing on real quick. There we go. It's actually a little bit loose. Feels great though. Now the loom, I checked out the loom before I started the review. It looks like the indexes don't have nearly the application that the hands do. Let me kill all these lights here. Again, not a dive watch. Y'all are used to seeing dive watches on my channel. So not a dive watch. And this is Citizen's proprietary loom. No idea what the makeup is of this loom. I'm assuming probably some sort of super luminova or something. Anyways, you can see the hands are a lot brighter. Well, obviously, because they also, they also have more loom in them, but uh, the hands are brighter than the indexes. Uh, but it's not fading, which is nice. 
It's a good looking watch, man. I mean, again, this is like the perfect middle management type of watch. You haven't quite made it yet, but you've, you know, you've, you've met, you've had some accomplishments. You're moving up in the company. Um, you decided to spend a little bit more money than you normally would for a watch. You saw this one, you know, it's super lightweight. It looks good. It's got titanium. It's got sapphire crystal. Like, you know what? I'm going to splurge. I'm going to get a little bit nicer watch than I normally would. So I'm going to go ahead and get this. And I think you have made a wise decision if you want to get this watch. Because, guys, uh, I'm, I'm a Seiko fanboy to a certain point. But I'm a Citizen fanboy all the way. I love Citizen watches. Their designs. Their bang for the buck. Um, I just think their build quality. As you notice, over the last few years, uh, I think... I mean, gosh, I think just about every Citizen review I have ever done, the second hand is lined up with the indexes. Every, um, I think there might have been one or two in the last, gosh, five, six, seven, eight years, going back maybe even further than that. Uh, Citizen's quality control is just, it's, it's bar none. Nobody can beat them. Uh, I wish Seiko would try. <laughs> I mean, unless obviously you move up to like, you know, a Swiss made watch or something. But so far as the Japanese brands, uh, in this price range, Citizen just blows everybody out of the water. They always have, and they probably always will. So anyway, guys, uh, I'll make sure to put a link down there in the description field if you want to head on over to my Amazon channel and pick this up. Again, it is $299. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. Every little like helps. If you like my content, I would appreciate you clicking like. And if you like my content, I'd appreciate if you subscribe. So anyway, guys, I have a really cool watch coming up. And I think it's next week, I believe, from a micro brand, which I think y'all are really going to like. Uh, and you'll have that review for you coming up next weekend. So uh, that's been about it for this one. Until the next review, I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.